Hi everybody, I'm Terry at Holding Your Space. Welcome to my channel. Hey, um, I wanted to ask you about release. How do you release? So, um, how do you let go of your frustrations? How do you lower your blood pressure? So, this week we're talking about the vagal nerve and releasing things. So, if you have anything that you like to do, please list it in the comments. Um, for me, I like to walk in nature silently. I don't listen to anything, no earbuds. Um, another thing that's easy to do is uh, when you're in nature, whatever you're doing, to notice with your senses, like a blade of grass or a flower or a tree. Um, and of course, you don't want to get down on all fours at the park or something, you know, in a big crowd. <laughs> but um, just with your imagination, imagine what it sounds like, that blade of grass. Imagine what it might taste like. Bring all your senses into it, all your awareness. Imagine what it might um, feel like, the touch of it. Imagine what it sounds like. So, anyway, um, when you bring all your awareness into one thing, it really brings you into the present moment. So it's a nice trick. Um, also working with your vagal nerve, um, anything that you do that crosses the body, um, if you're physically able to do yoga, um, doing some twists, um, also just moving your head from left to right, if you have that ability. And a real easy thing to do is you take your um, middle finger and your, end your pointer finger and you just um, start at the jawline, right underneath your earlobe, and just lightly slide it to the other side of your neck. Just doing that several times. And then again on the other side. So start it over here and go. I think I'm doing that wrong, aren't I? Start it that way. Yeah, start it that way and go. Oh, with the other hand, that's why I'm going, it's going funny. Okay, is that confusing? <laughs> so, um, when you work with the vagus nerve and stimulate it, um, it releases endorphins. It lowers your blood pressure, um, helps us to really um, concentrate, and um, helps with your emotions. So, um, this is an entertainment-only channel. But um, they're really starting to come around right now with uh, science, with somatics and vagal, the vagal theory, working with that. So anyway, polyvagal. So, <laughs> so I'm sure a lot of you have read about that and it's out there. So let's go ahead and do some meditation, shall we? Take a deep breath, a cleansing breath, releasing through the mouth. One more time. Let's do three. Now just let your body breathe you. And today we're going to work with body awareness. So um, let's come in to the center of our body, our heart space. See your divine light. Let it grow into your auric film. I usually picture my divine light as between my um, uh, my gut, your other brain, your solar plexus, and my heart. Just see a beautiful white light or whatever light calls to you. And see it grow throughout your auric film, that white light. And now while we're bringing that light in, let's bring in our awareness of senses again. Looking around us, if your eyes are closed, that's okay. Imagine five things in your room that you can see. What about three physical things you can see? And two things in energy. Let's say the energy of love and the energy of a smile. It's 
since we worked with smiles yesterday. Now, let's bring in our awareness of smell. Smell anything in your room, maybe you have flowers or candle burning. If you don't, it's okay. We can imagine smells. Your brain won't know the difference. Imagine cookies or fresh bread baking. The smell of your favorite flower. And now let's bring our awareness to two things in energy, whatever you want. Let's smell the energy of laughter, of joy. and the energy of motion. <laughs> energy of motion. Ooh, speaking of which, let's smell the energy of abundance. That's definitely a sweet smell, isn't it? Okay, now let's bring in hearing, listening, to your room, wherever you are, your car. I can hear cars going by outside. Maybe you can hear your heat through your air conditioner. Now let's pick two things that we can hear. Let's hear the vibration of smiles, of bliss. See how that changes your body. Let's hear the vibration of, oh, I liked abundance. Abundance. That's a beautiful energy. Now taste. Imagine taste, feeling your taste buds come alive. We'll do that trick with your tongue. Pushing the tip of your tongue against your roof lightly, as far back as it's comfortable for you. So your taste buds start to come alive. <laughs> this is how many gurus that don't eat in the Himalayas. This is how they get their nourishment, entertainment only again. <laughs> now, imagine the taste of your favorite cookie or candy, something you enjoy, maybe fruit. I like salty, so I'm gonna imagine sauteed spinach. Now imagine the taste of oh, that piece of grass that we were talking about. Okay, let's imagine the taste of bliss. It's very sweet, I think. Okay, now let's move on. Touch. Let's bring our four fingers and our thumbs together and touch lightly. It's a mudra. Feel the energy as it changes with that. And the touch of rubbing your hands lightly together. Feel that physical sensation, that energy as it starts to warm up. Ooh, I love this. So let's pull this out, this energy and play with it. Imagine you have an orb. You know you have an orb in your hands. It grows bigger and smaller. And you can form it. We form it into a flower. Flower of life. And now imagine touching energy. Light energy. Okay, it's beautiful.
<laughs> okay, so we've done taste, sight, sound. Touch. I think we got them, didn't we? Okay. Hearing. Yes. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and bring in knowing. Since we've got all our energy here and our auras. Let's know something. Knowing the energy in our rooms. Let's know the sound that the earth made when you were born. Your vibration, your personal mantra. It's kind of far out, but it's fun. Let's know that we're going to manifest something, our beneficial outcome. If you want to know that you're divine light, okay. So that's all pretty powerful, and it brings us into completely the present moment. So while we're here, we'll bring in our angels, our guides from this life and others. We'll also bring in our spirit animals. And everybody gives us a big hug. It says, you usually do this at the beginning. <laughs> but they're always here and there is no time or space. I'm feeling their energy. Maybe smelling it, tasting it, hearing it, and touching it. Now let's just know them, know their love, know their energy around us. And then one of the most powerful things we can do, we can be grateful for them. Grateful for ourselves. Grace. <laughs> All right. Imagining your heart like a lung. Inhale all that energy into your heart space. And as you exhale, it absorbed into every cell in your body, even into that space between cells, that space between nuclei. <laughs> okay, let's come back present in this physical form, seeing all our power inside us. Relaxed, ready for our day or ready to go to bed. And now, and as you exhale, completely present, our vagal nerve has been activated. We're in homeostasis, happy, or even if not happy, Knowing joy and light, we can still be sad or grieving and have joy in our hearts and awareness of that sadness or that grief. Oh, that's going to be another one, isn't it? Okay, so we'll save that for tomorrow. So, have a great day or an evening, and namaste, my friends.